Rich Berliner from Digital Locations here with news of the week. Cell tower fires did not cause Maui communications outages. Power was the problem. According to Hawaii Governor Josh Green, residents will be allowed to return to the devastated town of Lahaina in Maui, and this was a report last week, stating they will see destruction like they've never seen in their lives. Authorities said that most of the flames were contained. Currently, the death toll is estimated at over 100 people, but is expected to rise as the interior of buildings begin to be searched. The New York Times analyzed through satellite images that approximately 1,900 structures appear to have been damaged or destroyed in a historic town on the island's west coast. At one point, the fires were so intense that residents and tourists had to run into the ocean to escape the flames. The U.S. Coast Guard later rescued them. Although the causes of the wildfires that started Tuesday night of a number of weeks ago are still undetermined, they could have been caused by lightning strikes. However, 85% of wildfires are caused by human intervention, according to the U.S. Forest Service. Self, tower, and telecom equipment damages were overblown. When the fire started to sweep through Lahaina, communications cell service in some areas was limited. According to Mahina Martin, Chief Communications Officer at the Maui Emergency Management Agency, 911 services on Maui's west side went down with some resorts losing communications due to downed cell towers. CNN reported her statement and brought in Glenn O'Donnell, VP of Marketing Research Firm, Forrester for Color. When the fires get too close to cell sites, they will obviously burn equipment, antennas, feed lines. In extreme cases, they will also weaken the towers, leading some to collapse said O'Donnell. His comments were picked up by mainstream and industry media, and they relayed the crippling of cell towers. CNN said fires at cell towers caused cell phone service to go down. However, according to Wireless Estimator's review of FCC and tower code data, there doesn't appear to be a single tower in Lahaina, and the approximately 12 towers on the island are miles away from where the three wildfires were located. The primary cause of service interruptions was power outages along the west coast, where it was reported at least 14,000 homes and businesses did not have power. Many cell sites are on top of condominiums, office buildings, and hotels. For example, approximately one and a half miles from the center of Lahaina, American Tower Corporation manages cell sites atop the Weston Maui Resorts, 11-story building in Kanapali. The complex did not suffer any fire damage, but Weston said in a statement, the resort is also without power, as is much of the Maui coast. It said on Wednesday, a few weeks back, that resorts were under a shelter in place and its management team was monitoring for mandatory evacuation. Carriers on Tuesday deployed mobile cell sites and satellites on wheels, satellite type cell sites, on wheels to assist with communications and Maui's rescue efforts. T-Mobile informed CNN that cell sites were holding up well during the fires, but commercial power outages may be disrupting cell service for some customers. As soon as conditions allow, my priority is to get deployable teams with portable generators that will bring temporary power back to our sites. Most of T-Mobile's cell sites are on the tops of buildings. Thanks to Inside Towers for that report. This is Rich Berliner from Digital Locations saying thanks for watching.